everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, taking a look at a quick way of transferring files um, on Annex called Droopy. Have you ever needed just to just to send a quick file, and you wish you just had a little web server running that you could upload the file to? Well, Droopy is this is this is the system for you. What it will do is it will take files stored in a public folder on your Annex box and share them on a very simple little web server uh, by default on your local network but you can configure um, if you configure your home router or whatever to f do a little port forwarding you can transfer the file over the internet as well um, this is what it's going to look like to the client and we're going to show you how to set it up I've got a virtual box set up I'm on my main antics system here I'm going to I got a virtual box rolling with another installation of antics it's a clean install um, clean install is not important, it just happens to be clean at the moment. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get Droopy. So we're going to open up the control center and we're going to go to System and Manage Packages. This is your root password, as usual. Now I've already reloaded uh, my repositories, but if you haven't in a while, go ahead and click Reload. And then we're going to search for Droopy. And there we are, Droopy Annex, that's the package. Click that, mark it for installation, and click Apply. It's a very small download, uh, tenth of a megabyte or some such. There you go, it's, we're done, it's installed. So what does Droopy do? Oh wait, there's, there's one thing. There is a configuration file uh, that for now, for some reason, doesn't get installed correctly. So you can go... Uh, into your favorite file manager. I'm going to use Space FM just because uh, it's easy for me. And I'm going to go to slash Etsy slash scale. This is where's a lot of default configuration files in here. I'm going to hit Control H to show all the hidden folders. We'll go into the config folder and there's going to be a droopy configuration folder. We're going to copy that and paste it into the your home folder. Now mine slash home slash dolphin. Yours is going to be whatever your username is. And you're going to find the config folder, the dot config folder in that folder, in your home folder. And then you're going to paste in your Droopy folder. And you're done. Um, I'll show you the Droopy configuration file. It's real simple. You, nine times out of ten won't even need to open the thing, but it's got to be there for it to operate. There's some options here. It's well authorized, well uh, docu uh, 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 documented, uh, commented. But the part you're looking for here is you need to have a folder in your in your fo in your um, home folder called public with a capital P. So we're going to do that. We'll go ahead and fire rocks up here. So I'm using the rocks file manager right now, and I'm going to say, give me a new folder, new directory, and it's going to be public with a capital P. Create. And there we go. Now the Droopy folder, Droopy is going to share whatever's in this public folder on your home network through a very small, tiny um, web server, basically HTTP uh, web server. So. I got my public folder open. I'm going to fill it with the generic documents from the Annex Documents folder. So now that I've got some stuff in there uh, to look at. And we're going to start Droopy. Now remember, after installing packages, you always have to hit Update Menu. I should have did that earlier, but it doesn't matter when you do it. And you come up to Applications, Internet, and Droopy. And now you're going to see that Droopy is running. Files will be uploaded to slash home slash dolphin slash public. That's the folder we just made. And if you want to see what the HTTP server looks like, you can check it out at this address. So I am going to crack open the web server and type in localhost a colon and 880. I'm sorry, 8800. And now we're going to see here are the files. This is the, uh, the, the page that shows what's going on. We've got the uh, folders, the files that are shared. And if we need to, we can show, see what the external address of this page is. This is going to be the page as the internet sees you. Um, so you click on this and it's going to tell you what your 
uh, address is. I'm not going to show you my address because I don't want to show you my address. <clears throat> but the, if you're just sharing on your local home network, it's going to tell you right here in the in the bar, Droopy Serving slash home slash dolphin, my home, fo home username, slash public on Antics 1, that's the name of my Antics install, on this IP address, 192.168.1.116 colon 8800 so it's running I'm going to minimize the virtual box window and crack open my regular web browser and I'm going to type in the address 192.168.1.116 colon 8800 and there it is and I can download any of these files by clicking on them, right-clicking and saying save link as, just like any f file that you would download off the internet. This is in your web browser. But what if you want to upload a file? Well, you can do that too. You click the browse button and you pick a folder to uh, upload. I'm going to pick, oh I got a screenshot here. I'm going to click on my screenshot and when you have your file, you click send. Now, there is one downside to this and you can see that it has in fact uploaded. No problem. So you see it's in my home folder. There are a couple of little caveats. One, uh, the web server is not secure. I mean, if you're not using it, shut it down. Number two, you can only send one file at a time uh, or download one file at a time. Uh, less of a problem on the download side, more of a problem on the send side, uh, but you can get around that by compressing your files into a .zip or a .tar .gz or something like that and uploading that. What's the use case for this? Well, it's simpler than a Samba share. Uh, if you just need to let someone download a file real quick, I mean, you fire this up, two seconds later they're downloading the file. This is really easy. The client doesn't need anything installed. It's just a web server. Um, I like it for getting files on and off my Android phone. Android phones, oddly being Linux, sort of, kind of, based. Um, I have a hard time getting the thing thing linked up with my Annex box, and uh, this is one way I can do it wirelessly. There's a couple other utilities I use, but this is a quick and dirty way of moving some files around. And I can zip files on the Android phone just just as well, so it's kind of handy for sending up photographs that I take with the phone with the with the camera. I can send them up to the thing and then edit them as I want on my Annex box. So that's Droopy. It's a uh, a real easy way to transfer files. I should mention that in the help folder, now after you do an upgrade on your Annex box, in the Annex folder, the Annex FAQ, FAQ, now has a Droopy section, and you can read up on all about it, what it is, how it works, uh, to your heart's content. It's a very well written document. I don't think you'll have any trouble. Uh, getting the general idea. So that's Droopy. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org or throw up a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle, signing off. Have a great night.